Hi, it's Papa. This is our third video in the Serpent Stone series, and the last one, more than likely. In this one, I'm going to tell you about how the serpentinite travels with the uh, ocean crust across the uh, ocean till it hits a continent, and the ocean crust breaks and subducts underneath the continent. Uh, and make serpentinite do very interesting things. So here we go. This is an excellent image from a website called study.com. And it shows ocean crust, they call it lithosphere, subducting underneath the continent. And this is what has been happening all along the coast of California uh, and is now happening in, uh, along Northern California and Oregon. And that is what's creating the Cascade Mountains, which are active volcanoes. So what's happening in California? Well, this USGS map shows the state of California in blue and the line that's going from south to north across the state represents the San Andreas Fault. Everything to the left of that line, all the land, all the crust is moving north and sliding north relative to everything to the east of that line. And that is what is causing the San Andreas Fault and all the earthquakes that uh, the San Francisco area and other areas of California are experiencing. Back to our subduction drawing. As the ocean crust goes down subducting beneath the land crust, serpentinite goes down with it. And the whole package gets hotter and hotter and hotter until the serpentinite loses the water that it initially absorbed at the mid-ocean ridge. And it turns back into beryditite of the mantle. But not all of the serpentinite goes all the way down. A lot of it, because it's slick and soapy and greasy, slips and slides and finds its way up through cracks and faults and crevices up toward the top of the subducting ocean crust where it acts as a lubricant to help the subduction, subducting ocean crust go down smoothly. Here's a USGS image that shows the same subducting piece of ocean crust. And you know, a lot of that serpentinite that slides back up along the cracks and faults in the ocean crust up to the top gets scraped off against the continent by the uh, as the subducting ocean crust dives down underneath the, the continental crust. Not only is serpentinite scraped off, but all the ocean sediments that are on top of the ocean crust get scraped off too. And this whole hodgepodge of rolled and scraped and twisted material is called a subduction melange. Um, melange meaning a big mixed bag of geologic stuff. And um, so that's how serpentinite gets up on land along with the whole package of ocean crust and the ocean crust sediments that are on top of it. And now you can understand why California has so much serpentinite because uh, in the past, the ocean crust subducted underneath the whole of California and uh, scraped off a big, huge pile. And that big, huge pile now is actually the coast range that runs along the west coast of California. Now we're looking at the actual San Andreas Fault. And remember earlier I told you that this, everything on the west side of the San Andreas Fault is sliding north relative to everything on the east side. Um, this action is what causes all the earthquakes because uh, the left side tries to slide against the right side and it gets stuck and more sliding pressure is applied and more sliding pressure is applied until it's enough pressure to break the, the left side loose and it gives a huge lurch on the right side against the right side and that causes an earthquake. So how does serpentinite help prevent or reduce earthquakes? Well, you know it's slicky and greasy and soapy and acts as a good lubricant. Well, that enables, in some places along the San Andreas Fault, that enables the where serpentinite is abundant, the uh, two sides of the San Andreas Fault are happy with each other and slide a little bit uh, every year, maybe an inch 
uh, or less every year and things go along smoothly. But in places in California along the San Andreas Fault where there's not a lot of serpentinite, that's where you get the earthquakes because serpentinite is not there to act as a lubricant and prevent them. So now you got the whole story of serpentinite and I hope it all makes sense and I'm glad to have you guys as my rock buddies and be able to talk about cool things like serpent stone. Papa out.